Bonjour. Bonjour. We're in France. What are we doing in France? Well, we are going to watch the tour. Yep. But first, we're going to go to Italy to visit Pinarello, ride Can't some road wait. and gravel bikes, and uh, see the headquarters. Then what are we doing after? After that, we're coming back here. Yes. And we're going to watch the tour. Le Tour de France? Yeah. So like three or four stages. We're going to try to give you oh the full gosh. experience. Can't wait. So excited. Ciao. Welcome to Pinarello. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> Excited. So excited. I just want to see all the fast bikes up close. They're right there. to ride uh, the new F-Series from Penarello. That was my first time on it. I've been on a Dogma quite a bit. Um, so comparing the, the Everyman's Dogma, basically, that's what it is. If I had a blind test of riding the Dogma and the F7, uh, it would be very tough for me to decipher the differences. So props to them for making a more approachable um, race bike for, for everyone. That bike's awesome. We got to ride on some really cool roads, uh, probably the no, for sure. It was the steepest road I've ever ridden on, um, and it was incredible. The level here is just, it's insane. The the climb we went up, I believe, maxed out like near 30%. It was like 26, 27, I think. Everything is so narrow, so much steeper than anything I've ever experienced. I mean, I live in Park City, Utah, so I you know went into it and was like, oh my gosh, I'm a climber, I'm fine. Definitely challenging, but the views and um, the reward at the top was worth it. buildings and the land around it and then restore it. Probably cheaper than a house in the U.S. right now. <laughs> I don't know. I guess this is like farm country. Yeah. I want that one up there. All right, to the castle. Pretty cool. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> ah, it's my future home. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, sweaty cheese. I think I'm just going to put it on top. It's an interesting method. More of a stuffed sandwich kind of gal, mm. but you get you can get like different flavors with each bite. Guys, we're about to be smoked. It's crazy how living in mount around mountains has made it where I can't live anywhere else. No, yeah. any place without mountains sucks in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I have to be near mountains for the rest of my life. Uh -huh. What did we do? Right. We did tour to Venice. It was such an experience. I ate more food than I've eaten in a long time. Started with tapas, uh -huh. moved to ice cream, then we went to full-on sandwiches, and we ended with cannolis. We did. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, overall, really pretty here. It's definitely touristy, but... It's a tourist town, but it's one of those tourist towns that you like definitely have to visit. For sure. Fun fact, it is so humid in Italy. I did not ha have any concept of it being this humid. So I'm gonna yeah. go home, take a shower, pack up, and tomorrow we're on Road our tripping. way to France. Yep. Yeah. Road trip to France and getting ready for a couple stages of the tour. Um, so stay tuned for like, that. I feel like I need to ride my own tour after all the food I've eaten here. I think we will. <laughs> <laughs> I think when we get back to Utah, we'll be ready to, yeah, uh, to ride Yeah, we're just recovering. Yeah. <laughs> Just couldn't do it. 
but couldn't mix dirty clothes with clean clothes. Oh, yeah, I use bags. Yeah. All right. Well, any order to this? Back. Yeah. <laughs> I will be back. Uh, I'm trying to decide which t-shirt to get. I'll get a couple for some folks at home and then for myself. Just don't know which ones. If folks can't buy merch here, where do they go? Yeah, if people can't buy merch here, and if you're in the US, you can go to competitorslogos.com. We have all these official t shirts and swag. Let's go uh, see what the locals are all up to. Hello! Yeah, I mean, uh, it was full on like adrenaline. Just yeah, like, oh my gosh, what's happening? <laughs> like screaming. Yeah. All of my phone videos are just going to be me. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I think mine will be just like the phone shaking because I was smacking the wall so hard, but uh, yeah, amazing. I don't know. I'd kind of like sleep tonight and like figure yeah. out what just happened. But uh, overall, would recommend you check this out in person because it's way different than television. Unreal. Yeah. And the, the crowds too. Oh my so god. You some just... people had some great chants, some good songs. Yeah, good songs, and chants. It's uh, oh, fantastic. This is the coolest. that we have learned from yesterday is that it's always a good idea to know where the best places are to spectate where you can see you know all the action happening so we're actually doing a recon of tomorrow's time trial course super excited and actually we are now on course so kind of getting in my wow fan art headspace but yeah we're gonna go check it out and see how hard they're gonna be going tomorrow This is steep. Okay. Yeah. It's one of the hardest stages to like pick a good spot. Yeah, you do. You see yeah. every single rider you cheer for every single yeah. rider you want. So where do you want that to be? Do you want to be in the shade? <laughs> yeah, that would be mean, ideal. Yeah. But yeah, uh, the views. Oh would, my god. Also, would we want to like run alongside back beside them? Ooh. Like, I mean, these are things you got to think I about because barriers. You can't do that. Yeah, and if they're going 40 miles yeah, per hour, 50 downhill. miles per hour. Yeah, and just on the long straight, like it's gonna right. be so hard to cheer them on. So I think I might be the move. Yeah, Again. I agree. 
should get, get up here early. Should we, get, should we go buy some tents? Yeah, I think we gotta post up. <laughs> I think it's time. We'd had to decide, all right, are we gonna go for the start line to see kind of every rider go through, or are we gonna go and hike up to the finish and see, you know, who's got the best time, <laughs> who's looking the best near the end. And we decided to go with the start line. Um, I think that was uh, the right move. We got to see the paddock, the team, you know, teams prepping and the bikes ready. It's a much closer experience to the riders. So even if you don't have a VIP pass, you can still see the riders, see the bikes, all the cars and buses are there. Um, and it's also, you know, it's a race against the clock, so it's exciting. Overall, that was the best experience to see the fans kind of filtering through and what the atmosphere was like and kind of got that preview before they hit the course, which was really unique. I really loved seeing the time trial. Jonas just was mind blowing. His performance was something that I don't think's ever been seen before in the tour. Uh, you know, he said himself that it was probably the best time trial he's ever ridden, and I think you know that's an understatement. <laughs> so for stage 16, uh, we were just you know general fans. We were able to get somewhat close to the trailers and see you know how they prepped the bikes, but couldn't get very close. So you got a glimpse of what it, what goes into it. Um, but then the next day, stage 17, we actually had VIP passes and that allowed us to go inside the gate and get, basically you could you could touch the pro's bike. Um, I didn't, <laughs> but it gave you a better insight of, of how the teams prep for each stage. Um, for example, in the team car, they had a little uh, a chart on the dash for the passenger and for the mechanic in the rear of whose bike is where on the roof rack. Because uh, if you know, there's like eight bikes up there. Um, so it's, you got to make sure you're grabbing the right one for the right rider when you need it. And they had that all dialed, ready to go. And then next to the mechanic in the rear, he had uh, four wheel sets. So two fronts, two rears on the ready. Um, and it seemed like most teams had that exact same setup. It's, it was incredible. <laughs> we're doing all right. We're doing okay. <laughs> What's crazy is we started before the Peloton, like 40 minutes, 40 minutes, yeah. 40 minutes before, and uh, they are not that far behind us. 45 minutes behind 45 us. 45 yeah. minutes behind us. And we've been driving a car. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Dude, they're so fast. It's crazy. 18,000 feet of climbing today. Yeah. Yeah. And the climb, oh man, climb number two, we're coming back. We're going to go ride that because it is the most beautiful place I've ever seen in my entire life. All right, all right, all right, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm about it. That's awesome, well, Sweet. Yeah, keep me updated throughout the day. Yeah, will do. All right, man. All right. See you later, enjoy. All right, later. Bye.
As a lifelong tour fan, I thought I had a pretty clear expectation of what to, you know, expect and see. But um, if I'm being honest, it completely blew me away. You know, you see the fans and the crowd and the atmosphere in your TV screen, and you're like, oh wow, it's so crazy, and you know, everybody's so excited. But when you're there in the moment, it's just, it's mind blowing. I've never experienced anything where so many different people have like come together for one moment. Yeah, I'd say it's tough to, to gauge the atmosphere on television. Um, you really have to, to be here and, and see what it's all about. Uh, there's a lot of people, especially this year, that complained about the crowds like interfering with the race, and I totally get that. Like It's a problem, and it seems to be getting a little bit worse. Without the crowds, the race it's, doesn't exist. <laughs> I mean, you have to have the fans there. Like That is the whole thing, Like is just bringing all the cyclists together in one area, and and just having them cheer on the riders. And then as a rider, if you've ever raced, you know that fans screaming at you just makes you so much stronger and faster. Um, so without them, like, the race would not be the same. It would just, I don't know what it'd be like. <laughs> it'd be very boring. <laughs> For my first experience in Europe, I don't think I would have wanted it any other way. This was just the coolest trip I've ever done. I've never experienced anything like this before. I think. You know, I think the best way to experience a new culture is to just immerse yourself in it. You know, this event isn't something that you just, you know, you have to like sign up for to go see. Like it is France, like it is everywhere. You'll see it, you know, posters, flags, the crowds, people are wearing yellow t-shirts and hats and all this stuff. So it was a really unique experience just because I got to feel like I was a part of something that this whole culture is around and supports. For cycling, there's there's no fee. I mean, if you can get to the right, you can bike to the race from your small little village or town you're in in France and go and see, you know, the stars and there's, there's no cost other than burning some calories. So that is the most unique thing. Um, and it really shows like, if people camp out for days to see their, ride, their favorite rider for 20 seconds, no one's gonna do that in the United States <laughs> for anything. So like, it's just a cultural thing. Um, and it gives me chills like talking about it. <laughs>